my dear friends uh, welcome back to my channel I hope you are all doing well so today in this video we will discuss about the revaluation process uh, when you people have to uh, apply for the revaluation okay so four things i will discuss uh, in this particular video i don't want to make this video too long so number one is uh, revaluation dates we will talk about and uh, revaluation fees and uh, should you apply for the revaluation or not okay and uh, last part the vt revaluation scam which i have already make uh, a particular video for that okay so first of all <clears throat> let me tell you my dear friends uh, if you want to apply for the revaluation okay first thing is if you are confident if you are sure about your answers okay then definitely go for the revaluation okay if you are 100% uh, or i cannot say the 100% uh, more than 80% if you are sure then go for the photocopy uh, photocopy uh, answer scripts uh, with the revaluation okay that is the number one thing so uh, if you are thinking that you have not written the paper very well then definitely don't go for the revaluation it is just the wastage of money okay now uh, if i talk about uh, the revaluation fees okay so you can see here ug revaluation fees is rupees 600 per subject okay if you want to go for the photocopy answer scripts so you have to pay extra 400 so that means a thousand rupees if you are just applying photocopy and uh, application fees is uh, rupees 30 so that becomes your 1030 for the photocopy of answer scripts and without uh, photocopy revaluation fees is uh, 600 plus 30 that is your 630 rupees okay so this is all about the revaluation fees okay so if i talk about the revaluation date usually after uh, your declaration of your results uh, more than three or four days it will take so once they will announce the dates i will definitely give you the update regarding the revaluation dates okay this is the third thing now last thing is a vtu revaluation scam which i have already made the particular video for that how the vtu is uh, checking the papers after the revaluation you can see here i have one sample over here so somebody has got uh, 28 marks you can see here internal marks 39 and old marks 28 so after putting the revaluation he has got 12 marks only that means uh, when he has 28 okay so it gets reduced to 12 marks so it may be happen in the vtu so make sure you will just think 100 times before putting the revaluation so it uh, totally depends upon your uh, mindset if you are going to apply the revaluation or not okay so next i will uh, show you here it depends upon luck also see here another guy uh, he has got external marks as zero in renewable energy sources okay see here internal marks plus external marks is zero and after putting revaluation he has got 24 marks simply jump from zero to 24 marks that means it is totally a scam it is one kind of just looting the money from the students okay you can see that particular video also i have made a separate video i will provide the link in the description box so this is all about uh, fee structure of revaluation should you go for a uh, revaluation or not so please uh, think first then go for the revaluation so this is all about today today's video so Stay connected for uh, upcoming updates. Thank you.